Good afternoon, this is Schweitzer. We're going to do a little video here on essentially just this position time graph. And again, you should be firmly aware of the fact that these graphs can be some of the most challenging stuff we'll do all year. And a lot of it is because kids simply want to be able to memorize every little piece and they're just like, okay, I don't want to think about this. And that it just doesn't work that way. You have to, uh, whenever you see a graph, stop and ask yourself, well, what graph is this? And what does the graph mean? You can't just assume. I can't tell you how many times I've done graphs and, and, then, and then get them wrong myself. Because I haven't realized that what graph it is and what each piece means. And once you, I call it, recalibrate yourself to that graph, which means you familiarize yourself with that graph, run through a few little diagnostic questions so you know what's going on, then you're good to go forever, on, at least for that time on that graph. And then you go to a new graph, you ask yourself the same questions again. This happens to be a position time graph. So let's say it's meters and seconds. So... How does the graph set up? Well, you got distance on the on the x or on the y and time on the x. It is representing a straight line. Okay. This line here is this line is simply this line. They're going up and down this line. You can in fact go this way too. That's fine. Alright, so what does the slope represent? Well, it's meters divided by seconds. Slope is always dividing. And we should recognize meters per second as velocity. What does the area and the curve represent? Well, that's are multiplying. Meters times seconds, and that's not something that is recognizable typically. I don't know of anything that meters times seconds means. It's a piece of information, just not something useful for us. All right, so a couple things here. Um, so I say, what's just things I ask myself? What's a flat line represent? What's a vertical line represent? Um, I might change that up a little bit here and say, okay, let's go with this for a second and say, okay, what is a positive velocity? And what is a negative? velocity okay so um, all right what's that mean okay so if I have a slope that's positive all right versus slope that's negative I'm assuming I have the same slopes here positive velocity negative velocity just looking mathematically purely mathematical from the slopes what is this? We got person A and we got person B. What would that be like on a straight line? Well, what we have here is person A, okay, person, two people, they're at the same point, position, okay, what are these guys doing? Well, A simply goes this way and B simply goes that way and they're going that way at the same velocity, same speed. I should say. Velocities are opposite. All right, so next, what's a flat line represent? Well, a flat line here means zero slope, means zero change in position and zero movement. Okay, so flat line here means no speed. Sometimes rather than asking myself, um, what does a flat line represent? I'd say, what does a stopping look like? How do you stop? And a flat line here, and it might, might make perfectly good sense here, but when we start adding in new graphs with new representations, then you gotta really start thinking about these things. And maybe you're already come, you're just going back to this to review it, but how do you turn around? So I wanna go down the road, stop, and then turn back around and come back. So I would need to go down the road, stop, and again, if I go this way, I'm just going this way, stopping and continuing. I don't want to do that. 
I want it to turn around. Okay. Stop. Turn around. Okay. How do I know when I returned home? Well, it, home is a position. So I just need back to this position. I need back to this position. So whenever you cross that line, you're now at that point, you're back to the original starting point. Um, how do you know when you're farthest away? That's your, whatever you're down the line, you know, that's, that's the farthest position away. All right. Um, how do you know, how do you speed up or slow down? I'm going to add a slide here. Okay. So there's a couple things here. One, speed up, okay, or to slow down. Really important terms. Now this is not this is what we might call a, a scalar. It's not giving me a direction. I can speed up to the right, or I could speed up to the left. Okay. Um, so. In this case, I have a positive velocity. In this case, I have a negative velocity. Okay, so in this case, um, if I have a constant velocity, okay, important, constant, then uh, let's just sketch this out here quickly. Then if I have a constant velocity, I should have a straight slope, a constant slope. So this would be a constant velocity. Okay, this velocity is greater than this velocity. But since my slope's not changing, my acceleration equals zero on these guys. So I'm neither speeding up nor slowing down. You should note, and it's important, that when you're slowing down, you're approaching a flat, you're going Okay, flat. So my line, whether it's going up, approaching a flat, or whether I'm going down, approaching a flat, this is slowing down. Recognize what a flat means. Flat means you're going no change in distance over time. Speeding up, which means I'm going away from flat. Whether I'm going to the right and speeding up, or if I'm going to the right, and slowing down. I should say, I'm slow. I'm, I'm speeding up, going to the left. Okay, so that would be going negative velocity. Negative velocity, positive velocity. Okay, going to the right, speeding up. Going to the left, speeding up. Going to the right, um, slowing down. Going to the left, slowing down. Okay, constant velocity. Uh, another thing to note is that in each of these things, we have an acceleration, okay? To speed up, really important here, positive acceleration with a positive velocity. Slowing down would mean their opposite, okay? I could have a positive acceleration with a negative velocity or a negative acceleration with a positive velocity, all right? They're opposite, okay? Um, let's take a quick moment and let's just sketch these out what they what they look like. I'm adding an additional slide in here. And okay, so if I have a speed up, okay, what does this what does this look like? I want a positive velocity with a positive acceleration, negative velocity with a negative acceleration. Both of these are speeding up. What does that graph look like? Okay. All right, uh, this one I don't actually need to go that way. Okay, they both could have this. So a positive velocity means a positive slope, and I'm speeding faster. Okay, this is a positive velocity because I'm going positive position, and I'm getting faster positive acceleration. Negative velocity, so I'm going down, and I want to go faster. So I should give you more negative. Negative velocity, negative acceleration. All right, let's slow down. Okay, 
They're opposites. Positive velocity, negative acceleration, negative velocity, positive acceleration. If they're opposites, it means your 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 acceleration's counteracting your velocity. Okay. So what does that look like? Let's do draw a couple of these. Okay, the first one, positive velocity. So I'm traveling in that direction. I got a positive velocity, but I'm slowing down, so I'm approaching a flat. This guy, negative velocity, I'm traveling in a negative direction to the left. So, and I'm going slowing down, approaching a flat. Okay. Again, anytime we see one of these things, we want to be able to recalibrate what we're looking at here. It's a pretty common example. Um, where ask yourself all these questions. What's slope mean? Okay. Slope is in this case position versus time. Okay, slope is velocity. All right, got a positive velocity here. I have zero velocity here because I have zero change in position. Negative velocity here, negative velocity here, and I passed a position A and D are the same location. Same position. No one is graph other than maybe microscopically at, at these points. Otherwise, acceleration is zero. Acceleration is zero. Acceleration is zero. Area of the curve for this particular graph means nothing. That's the gist of it. Okay. Faster velocity means steeper slope, positive or negative. Okay. So I can go this way. Right. A person the line top line and the bottom line, okay, get to the D at the same time. But in this case, uh, this guy has a slower speed, slower, faster. Both of them stopped during the mid the flat. Just a little bit to give you a heads up on it. Thank you.